I'm amazed by how much phosphate is being used in our food supply as flavor enhancer or uh, preservative. And it's been used in such an enormous amount that U.S. adults consume on average twice as much as what the recommended daily allowance by the Institute of Medicine. What's the impact of what we call inorganic phosphate on, on cardiovascular health in the long term in normal population? No, no one has studied that directly. So that led us to, to start looking at that. We look into the database called the Dallas Heart Study, where we actually have a data on the blood uh, levels of phosphate, as well as the physical activity data. The physical activity data is coming from like a device and like a wrist watch, so they can more precisely to measure how much they, how much time in the day spent in physical activity versus not doing anything. And the very interestingly, we found that the higher the serum phosphate, the blood phosphate the lower the, the time they spend into doing a physical activity, it's uh, interesting to think that some common food additives can increase your sedentary activity and um, make, make your body behave in a way like your age for 10 years older without doing anything different. Nutritional-wise, optimal amount, um, some moderate portion is the key. We don't want to be completely phosphate deprived because our body needs them but too much is not a good thing. So I think stay away from processed food and, and try to do a fresh cooked meals. I think that, that will be the best uh, way to avoid danger of additive. We hope that the outcome of this study would give a, a strong rationale for the USDA to consider the, the danger of phosphate to the public. And, and that might have hopefully led to revision of the food labels.